Hey guys, welcome back to Devi Rai Technologies. Today is the second part of the series WhatsApp Chat GPT Bot. Today we are going to call the WhatsApp API for sending a message from Postman application. So this will be a very quick video. So let's explore. We'll go to our application that we have built yesterday under the list of all your applications choose the one next on the left hand side click on api setup and we're going to use this curl operation for sending our first message through the postman so first we need the URI. Let's head over to Postman. It's a post request. You can see over here. I'm going to enter the URI. Next, you have authorization as the header. Go to headers. Under key, enter the authorization. And finally, this temporary access token. You also need content type as a second header property. And its value is application slash JSON. Next, this is your body. Let me copy the whole part of it. I'll go to body, click on draw json and paste it let's beautify it so that i can see it uh, in a much better way all right so messaging product to type okay let me mention the phone number under two All right, so let me paste this again. Perfect. I'm not going to use my production number. I'm going to use my test number for this purpose. Since I'm using my test number, so this particular value is changed now. This ID. Okay. So all set, we are ready to send our first message. Let me change this. Send text message. Okay, let's send it. And we got 200 OK response and this is the payload that we have received. And I just received a message on my WhatsApp. Let me open it up. See here, we received our first message through the postman. Let me send the request again. And there we have the message. Okay. Let me also modify something. Okay, I do not have uh, much of the template, so I'll not use that. Uh, you can also run through Postman. Basically, here you will have ready-made collection available for you to try on various operations. This is the collection created by Meta. Let's say WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, so there we have all the various operations you can perform using APIs. It also have detailed documentations as well, step by step. For example, how to set up a developer account, a developer assets and platform access. It also have all the documentations inbuilt. So you can try it out. Uh, the link is right here under your send messages with the API. Alright, see you in the next one.